everyone, it's Caroline. Today I'm going to be doing a look inspired by Rachel Bilson. She's always been one of my like favorite style icons, but recently I've been watching her show Heart of Dixie and I realized how like beautiful she is. So I wanted to do like an everyday look that was inspired by her. You guys have been asking me to film kind of like my everyday makeup look, but <laughs> um, most days I just wear like tinted moisturizer and a little bit of Vaseline, so I figured that wouldn't be much of a tutorial, but um, anyways, her look is basically like, the emphasis is all on the eyes, so I figured just adding a little bit more would make it kind of tutorial worthy, but um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I've already done is applied my tinted moisturizer. This one's by Laura Mercier, and um, the next thing I'm going to do is work on the eyes, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit. And... Um, I'm taking a little bit of this shadow by MAC, it's called Mystery, and um, I'm just going to take a little spoolie brush like this and pat it into the eyeshadow, just very lightly. <clears throat> and then I'm actually just going to run that through my brows for a really natural um, brow. And her eyebrows are obviously much thinner than mine are, but... Um, there's nothing I can really do about that, so I'm just going to give my brows a really natural, um, kind of like shadow, I suppose. <clears throat> so that is going to be the brows finished. And the next thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of this, um, Rimmel, uh, eye definer, it's just like a pencil. And I'm just going to go ahead and define my eyes with this by pushing the pencil into my lash line. Just very messily. Is that a word? Messily? You know what I mean. <laughs> and then same for the other side. Just kind of pushing it into the lash line. And now I'm going to go, the back side has this little tool and it um, is really nice for spreading the liner. So I'm just going to go over that and smoke it out a little bit just for a little definition. So like that. And it really doesn't matter if it's messy because I'm just going to go over it with some more liner. The next one I'm going to take is called Cake Eyeliner. And I found this at a Sally's Beauty Supply for about a dollar. So I'm going to take the black side on an angled eyeliner brush. And this is just a really matte um, shadow, but you'll see in a second. So I'm just going to go over that. And for the daytime, I'm not going to do a cat eye, but I am going to pull it out slightly. So I'm just going to turn the brush on its side and then just pull it out ever so slightly. Because she has really big open eyes, like really just large eyes, kind of like um, Mila Kunis has that too. So I'm just going to do the same for the other side. And just pull it out. And I'm going to go over my lower lash line, my waterline, with the same um, pencil. Just kind of lightly to add a little bit of extra definition. Just like that. And now I'm going to um, 
Just give my lashes a coat of mascara. Today I'm going to be using the Define a Lash by Maybelline. And I've actually already curled my eyelashes just this morning when I first tried this look. But I just got back from work and I figured I would take it all off and show you guys how I did it. But now I'm just going to go ahead and give my lashes a coat of mascara. And the next thing I'm going to do is go underneath my under eye area with a little bit of highlighter. Today I'm going to be using the um, Radiance Touch Bin by YSL. And I'm in the shade number 2 if anyone was interested. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this underneath my eyes like that. And um, in my haul video, I showed this brush by Real Techniques and I asked if anyone had any ideas to what I could use it for because it's supposed to be a pointed foundation brush, but um, one of my subscribers actually suggested that I use it for under eye and it works perfectly for that. So that's what I'm going to use today. And I usually would just use my fingers, but I figured since I have the brush, I might as well use it. And thank you to that subscriber, by the way, that really helped. So that's just going to brighten up my overall complexion, which you'll see when I zoom out. Then I just look a little bit more awake. <clears throat> so, now I'm going to zoom you guys out. So that is going to be the eyes pretty much done. The next thing I'm going to do is warm up my face with a little bit of bronzer. This one is by, the front just says BB and on the back it says Bronzy Babe. Um, and I got this at a Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm honestly not even positive of the brand unless it's just BB, which I've never heard of. I'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush and just warm up my face with this. And this bronzer does have a decent amount of shimmer, but it's not glittery, so I don't mind it. You guys know I usually go for like matte bronzers, but I just wanted like a really nice glow today. And a little bit on my nose too, just to blend it all in. And I'm going to take a little bit of that bronzer just on my finger and then I'm going to smooth that onto my eyelids because often I see her wearing like a brown um, shadow and the next thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of blush and today I'm just using Dainty by MAC, which is this nice light pink color. And I'm using this on a um, really small, tiny, cute uh, blush brush. It's by Trish McAvoy. It was from like a travel beauty kit thing. But anyways, I'm just going to take this onto the apples of my cheeks. And then pull it back a little bit just to blend it in with the bronzer. And that's going to be the blush done. The last thing that I'm going to do is take a little bit of this, um, it's not a lipstick, but it's also not a lip balm. It reminds me of a tinted lip balm, but it's by Neutrogena. And the color is called, 
Shimmering Blush. You will not be able to see that, but it's the number 30. And I'm just going to pat this onto my lips. It's just a really nice, like, rosy color. The reason why I'm using this is because it has, um, it's really moisturizing. And the color is very natural to my lips. So, um, it's just a really, like, natural lip. It's not as intense as a lipstick. And I feel like when it comes to lips, she's very unfussy because I read in a magazine that her favorite lip product is like the Dr. Pepper Lip Balm, like by Lip Smackers or whatever. So anyways, that is going to be the final look. I will zoom you in one more time just so you can see the eyes. And then I'll zoom back out because that's really freaky to me. But um, anyways, uh, that's going to be it. Also, um, I mentioned I'm using this new camera. If you guys notice like a huge difference, you like it better, let me know in the comments below. Um, otherwise, I'll probably just use my other camera because it auto-focuses, so I can just show you like up close something and it'll just pick it up, but it's um, a lot easier. But if you guys prefer this, let me know. I have no problem using this one. Um, and I think that's everything. Oh, one more thing I was going to tell you guys. I actually got a shellac manicure today. Should I zoom in on that too? So yeah, and it's just a French manicure, but I think I'm going to do like a kind of like update every couple of days and then maybe make a video and let you guys know. Or I might just tell you like when I'm doing tutorials and stuff how I'm liking it, but yeah, so that is kind of exciting to me. I don't know, uh, you guys might be like, who cares, but um, anyways, that's going to be all for today. I hope that you guys have a great week and I will see you guys next time. Bye!